Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn this type of image for your card game into this type of image for your card game using Photoshop. And the main difference here is, as you'll notice, see how the background is kind of checkered? In Photoshop, that means it is transparent. So what I can do with Photoshop is I can export this, go into my Unity project, and then take my transparent image, which I've now created in Photoshop, drag it in. It'll bring in the sprites, which is really cool because I can change this from default to Sprite 2D and UI, Sprite mode to multiple, go into the Sprite editor after I hit apply, and then I can choose to slice. Unity will automatically slice it for me. And basically this is just going to create um, a bunch of individual images, which kind of saves you some time. So I hit apply, and when I go back into Unity, I'll show you the, the magic that happened here. Notice how now all of my cards are cut out one by one with the backgrounds being transparent. So this is a really cool feature and I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click on File, New and choose the appropriate size. So if you go into Paint, you can find the appropriate size by looking down here at the bottom. Mine says 952 by 3872. I want to choose something that's at least that big. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 1000 by 4000. So in Photoshop, I want to create a custom, you know, um, preset. And basically I'm going to do a thousand here. I'm going to do 4,000 there. The pixels are what matters. And then for your resolution, you can do whatever makes it more convenient for you. For me, I chose 400. For your background contents, you can go ahead and leave it at white. So we're going to create this, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to create that one. And then uh, we'll take our image that we've saved from Paint. So I saved it right over here, drag it into Photoshop. You'll notice how everything comes with it. I've made the background of my image in Paint yellow, although it's not too important what color you make it. The next thing we want to do is we want to take our background and right click on it. You want to choose Layer from Background and then click OK. You can name it Transparency if you want because this is going to turn into a transparent layer. Change the opacity to zero. This will be our new background with an opacity of zero. If I turn off my card images, notice how nothing else is there. I'm going back to my card images, left click on the layer, and then what we want to do is we want to change our selection tool. So you can right click here and choose the magic wand tool. So you probably see this, you right click there, choose the magic wand tool, select the yellow area, and notice how everything gets selected for you. Great, really cool. So we're gonna hit delete, and it's going to say you can't complete that request. What we need to do first is right click on the layer and then choose rasterize layer. So now when I go back to my image and hit delete, you'll notice all the yellow disappears. If I press control plus, I can zoom in and kind of get an idea of what my images look like. So once I'm happy with what my image looks like and all of my cards are separated and everything else is transparent, what I want to do is I want to hit File and then Save As. This will save the Photoshop file. It'll look something like that. That's not the file you drag into Unity. What we want to do is Export, click or Export as Ping. And then again, uh, put it wherever you need it to be, name it, and then Save. Once you've exported it as a PNG, you're going to go into your Unity project, drag your PNG in here, click on it. Again, change Sprite to 2D and UI change the sprite mode to multiple, and then go into your sprite editor. Now where it says pixels per unit, you can adjust this if you need to, but we're going to get onto that in the next um, videos. All right, that's it for today. See you guys later. Hope that helped, and remember, like and subscribe.